Good afternoon and welcome all you milliners and fashionistas to your guide to hat making. We are live right here in San Diego, California. I'm your host, Phoebe Chung Chua, and today we have a very special event lined up for you. Now, just a quick housekeeping announcement. Don't forget to sign into the chat below. We will, of course, be taking questions throughout the broadcast, and we want to make sure that we're able to get to your questions. We will even be taking a few questions that will be answered by our special guests a little later on in the event. Now, we would not be here today if it weren't for one very special woman. Now, this is a woman who has truly made her mark on both high fashion and hat design. Her designs have been worn by runway models and celebrities alike, featured at world-famous events like the Kentucky Derby and the Royal Ascot in England. She is not only an experienced hat designer, but an accomplished instructor in design. Now, today, for the first time, she is sharing her 30 years of experience in the hat making industry with you in a one of a kind instructional video and DVD series. So it's my pleasure now to give a very warm welcome to a friend and just a lovely lady, our distinguished guest, oh. Diana Cavagnaro. Thank you so much, Phoebe. It's wonderful to have you here today. It's very exciting. Oh, I'm delighted <laughs> to be here. It's so much fun. You know, Diana, you have so much experience. I've watched your hat making business from way back, you know, 20 <laughs> years ago when I was wearing them at, I think, different parades. Um, you've done so much. You're such an inspiring woman. And I'm just sure that we have lots of students um, who've been in your classrooms. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're doing this series? Why right now? I'm doing it right now because I've had so many people tell me that they want this. They need the instruction. They want to learn how to make hats. And so I put this together for everyone. Anyone can make these hats step by step and stitch by stitch. Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> I think it's so fun to get involved in, in this type of thing. And especially if you're someone like me who doesn't really have a stitch of design <laughs> <laughs> experience. I'm not so sure. If you can make it so I can design a hat, then I can. Any, <laughs> anybody out there can do that. So, so that's, that's my question, really? And anybody can do this? Anyone can do this. I take everyone th through it step by step. Right from the beginning, I show them how to do the, the stitch. And then by the end of the video, they have a hat. Mm. Is that exciting? It is. <laughs> it, it's really exciting, and we're, we're really going to see that. So lots of fun. Um, you don't have to be experienced at it. Anybody can do this. Anybody. Starting, starting from a beginner. Yes. What types of hats will we be making? I have four different videos in the series. The first one is a fascinator, like what I have on right now. And this has been very popular by Kate Middleton. She got everyone excited globally around the world to wear a fascinator and then we have a felt hat that I did so there's a whole series on felt and then there's one on buckram where you block buckram mm -hmm. and then you put fabric over it and I show you how to do either a, a, a brim that's curved or straight and then I also show how to do sailor or pillbox and that is the series that we have right now. So who exactly is the series for? Phoebe, this series is for everyone. I take people step by step through the series and stitch by stitch. <laughs> and by the end of the video, anyone can have a hat. So you'll have a finished hat after it's over with. Mm, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> now, you have um, invited a few former students to join us today. Yes, I have. We're going to bring them out? Yes. Danita Lee is going to come and tell you a little bit about her experience taking classes from me. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Danita. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Phoebe. Nice to meet you. Hi, Diana. Yeah, nice hi. to see you again. It's really great to be here. So I'm really excited because we were chatting a little bit uh, before we went on about where this has taken you and you mm -hmm. got started with Diana. I'm curious yeah. to know what that experience was like. Well, um, that experience was I would say great one. Um, I actually had no background in millinery or hat making whatsoever um, before taking Diana's courses at a local community college. And um, that has actually imbued me with a lot of enthusiasm for millinery. And I actually continue to do it to this day. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who's watching who might be interested in getting started in it? Do you have some tips or advice? <laughs> um, I, would, I would tell them, 
you know, really just take instructions from Diana. She does really go step by step. I learned um, to get over my fear of being challenged because I can actually follow what she's telling me. Um, and I can just do it and really create that product that, yes, I have designed um, and with her expertise have made with my own hands. Danita, so tell us a little bit about what you have designed. Um, so I actually took all three of Diana's courses at the local community college. And so first I learned how to actually um, cover a hat, a brimless hat. And then I learned to flat pattern something out of Buckram and made one of the sailor hats she was talking about, um, the, the <laughs> pillbox with the brim. Um, and then I went on to actually block Buckram and felt and stretch that over a, an actual wooden block head. Um, and yeah, it was just all creative and we sat down with Diana and figured out what it was that we wanted and how to get there, how to finish that full hat how after fun. each one. Yeah. So how are you using your skills today? Is it a business <laughs> for you? Um, well, actually, I took her classes um, for my own personal enrichment. Um, I actually do costume design around the community, have been for a couple of years now. And um, between my undergraduate studies and where I am today, I took these courses and I applied to San Diego State University, where I am now a graduate student in their first year, uh, in my first year at the, in the program. Isn't that awesome? And uh, oh, using it um, yeah. in the theater, yeah. yeah. So it's so you're using it in costume yes, design and fantastic <laughs> with an emphasis on millinery. Um, yeah, bit. right now I'm am focusing on millinery in in the actual productions that we do. I've asked to do this because it's just so fun to get my hands on experience and say, yeah, I know how to do that. I love it. <laughs> I bet that, that has to feel so good for you, right, it, Diana? It does. It does. To see a student grow and progress like that. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Is there a story that you can share since you did take so many of the courses? I, I mean, and she's right here with us. <laughs> <laughs> tell, us a, tell us a story about, you know, what it was like. I mean, you know, a lot of people who are looking at this are, are, are going to want to know, what is it really going to be like to work with Diana? Well, you know, the first thing that I can remember about being in a Diana class is just the enthusiasm, the way that she walked in the room and just said, let's go on a hat adventure today. <laughs> and at first we thought it was really strange. Everyone in the class just asked, well, okay, I guess we're, but we're just making a hat, right? Uh -huh. She goes, no, every time we're in this classroom, we're going down an, a road to adventure. Mm. You're doing something new, it, it will be challenging, but you'll get there and you'll be better for it and everything will be fantastic. And so, and, and it was. And it was Aww. every every session. It was just I didn't want the class to end. Oh wow! Yeah. And every wow. day you make a hat, it is an adventure. <laughs> it, it is it right. Is, it is. And and if there's you know if there's times I know with many artists when there might be something where there's like a maybe a little mistake or something that didn't go quite right. Yes. Did you learn, Danita, ways to salvage that? And, and did she have ideas? And oh tell us about gosh, that. Oh my gosh, yes. I've messed up so many times. I've been, <laughs> I was told I was fired, and it was all in a joking sort of manner. Like, you should be prepared, and you should kind of know, you know, um, where to go, because there is a step-by-step -step instruction. Sure. Um, but even when we veered a little off course, Diana, you know, just told us, it's OK. You can just take out the stitches here and just rework it so that you're back on track. And it was great because I messed up a lot. <laughs> so when you first start, all right, because take somebody like me who has zero talent in this area, and I, I mean it, you know. I mean, you're looking at all the, the, the pieces and the materials and the fabric, and then you're looking at what she's wearing, and you're going, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> really? You know, I'm yeah. going to make that? Mm -hmm. I've asked myself that so many times. I can't even tell you how, how many. Um, but it just being there in, in the group of students and being able to have one-on-one -on -one time with Diana to just look, sit down, look at what I'm doing, what mm -hmm. my next step is, that was invaluable. It was just, and we got there. It was amazing in, in about eight weeks, just the progress that we had week per week. It was 
well, now we're attaching the brim, and and then we're finishing everything and putting in the last grow green ribbon, and whoa, you have a hat. And I didn't think I could do it either. So, <laughs> the last day yeah. you can wear a hat home? That, mm -hmm. That's just the coolest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Danita. I really appreciate you sharing you with so us, much. and I, I'm sure that oh, thank you so much. that inspires a lot of people at home who are sitting like literally in my position, going, "I'm not so sure," but you, <laughs> yes, you can do it. So now we move on to one of my favorite parts of the show. Right now, we're going to pull one of the names from the list of people who registered to watch this event online. So I told you at the beginning, register. By registering, you are eligible to win Diana's entire video series. That that's right, all four of the millinery instructional videos. Diana, will you do the honors? I certainly will. Look up on your screen and you'll see the winner for the hat series. Congratulations, you have won Diana's entire millinery instructional video series. And now we can't wait to see what hat designs you dream up, so be sure and contact us. We look forward to hearing from you. Please stay in touch, and I would love to have pictures of the hats that you make. So send them to me. I'll be waiting. <laughs> now, you want to be sure to stay tuned for more chances to win. We will be doing a drawing once every hour, and at the end, we will have a bonus prize for one very, very lucky viewer. So stay tuned for that. This complete series includes your first four hat instructional videos plus the stitching series videos absolutely free. Now this is a great offer for anyone thinking of getting into hat design for the first time and makes a great gift for a friend or a loved one. These videos are for everyone as you have just heard from a first time student <laughs> to someone who's experienced at hat design. Everyone will find tips and techniques to help improve their hat creation process. Now today only we are offering an early bird special to those people who have registered for today's event and buy today. That's right, Phoebe. If you purchase today, I'm offering 10% discount on each video. And if you buy the entire series, it'll be 20% off today. Normally priced at $97, we are offering my entire online video for $79 today. Don't wait. That's a fantastic offer, so <laughs> be sure to take advantage of it right away. But only if you buy it today. What are you waiting for? Whether it's for you, a gift for a friend or a loved one, this could be a gift, but their adventure starts today. That's right. You don't want to wait. This offer will not be available after this event. Now, I want to talk about one thing Diana insisted on when we created this series of videos. And that was that if for any reason you are not satisfied or you feel this series just wasn't right for you, Diana will refund your money, no questions asked. Diana has spent her life developing and perfecting hat designs and techniques, and she wants to be sure to share it with you, but she also wants to make sure that you're 100% satisfied with her instructional videos. Now, if you're ready to get started making your first hat, then all you have to do is just click the link below the video to get the ordering process started. It's that simple. If you still have a few questions, feel free to ask them in the chat window below. We're always happy to answer your questions. We are just about to go to our first break, so if you are ready to place your order, go ahead and click the link below and follow the very easy steps to completing your order. All right, we will be back in about 15 minutes. Be sure to stay tuned. We have so much more. We have exciting guests and stories to share with you at Your Guide to Hat Making Live. Mm -hmm. From San Diego, California, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua, and this, of course, is Diana Cavaniero, and we wish you a fantastic hat adventure today. We'll see you when we come back.
makes you want to get up and start dancing. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua, and we are now into our second hour of Your Guide to Hat Making Live. I'm here with our distinguished guest, Diana Cavaniero, and we have already had some fascinating and exciting moments this afternoon, haven't we? It's been very fascinating. <laughs> fascinating for fascinators. Yes. Well, we want to remind you not to forget that if you're just joining us to sign into the chat below, we're going to be taking questions throughout the remainder of the broadcast, and we want to be sure that we get yours answered. Now, we will even be taking a few questions that will be answered by our very special guests later on in this event. Now, we would not be here today if it weren't for one very special woman, and that woman has truly made her mark on both high fashion and millinery design. Her hat designs have been worn by <laughs> runway models and celebrities alike, featured at world famous events such as the Kentucky Derby and the Royal Ascot in England. She is not only an experienced millionaire, but an accomplished instructor in hat design. Today, for the first time, she's sharing her 30 years of experience in the industry with you in a one-of-a-kind instructional video DVD series. Now, I'd like you all to welcome Diana Cavaniero. Hi. Well, hello, Phoebe. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm excited to hear about how you got your start. Well, I got my start 30 years ago in millinery at the Old Globe Theater. And I find it so creative. Every day I get to get up and make a hat. And it's like the biggest adventure of my day. Mm, that's... <laughs> you can't be, when you're making a hat, you can't but have an adventure. <laughs> that is so exciting to be able to do something like that every day. And, yes. and your students really enjoy it. Many of them have gone on to become successes. Yes, I have so many success stories with my students. They have gone on to do so many things over the years. Now, Diana, like we mentioned earlier, you, of course, have lots of experience, in fact, a good three decades, and you've been a veteran instructor at this. You've inspired thousands. I'm curious, why this moment right now to release a series like this? I've had so many students ask me to do this. They say, I want to learn how to, how to be a milliner. I want to do it like you, so please um, put it on the um, videos and DVDs so that we can have instruction on how to do it step by step and stitch by stitch. <laughs> and following along, they following really along. will be able to make one using the DVD series, right? Yes. Um, everyone will have a complete hat at the end of each um, hat video. Mm, that's fantastic. <laughs> now, if you're like me and you don't have a lot of experience at this, who's this series for? This series is for everyone. Anyone can pick up the video and make their hat from the beginning, step by step, like I said, stitch by stitch, mm -hmm. and at the end, they will be able to have a hat. Tell us about the types of hats. What's the, the process and the creation of it? What can they expect to get out of the series? Well, there's four different videos, and the first one is on fascinators, doing a, a fascinator like Kate Middleton wears. And uh, the second one are sailor hats, and that they can do either a pillbox or a pillbox uh, with a brim. And the third one is felt, making a felt hat. And then the, the last one is buckram, working with buckram, blocking it, covering it with fabric, and then making a brim either curved or straight. And I know, Diana, we just have to reiterate it. Again, it's for beginners, it's for anyone yes. who can simply just purchase the series and the materials, and then start to, to make their hat. Yes. Right? I take everyone from the beginning to the end. They'll have a finished hat. It's very exciting. That's what she promises. Now, we'd <laughs> love to invite out one of your clients. One Le of my favorite clients. Yeah, a so. favorite client, <laughs> Lena Evans. And you're going to love this. Come on out, Lena. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Don't you look lovely? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, <laughs> so excited to have you here. You know, Lena's going to do something very special. She's going to share some photos. And I'll tell you what, you're going to recognize some of the folks in this. Lena is a philanthropist and a world traveler. And she set up many exciting charitable events. Um, so so we're very thrilled to have you here 
And each time, I have to tell you, Lena has looked amazing. Wait till you see the hats she's wearing. Diana, you did a remarkable job. And just really pulling the whole outfits together. Um, so first of all, tell me how you feel when you wear the hats. You, you must feel like royalty. Well, I do. Um, I, I love hats. I mean, one, not only because of their sort of the fashion aspects of having a hat on and feeling sort of very elegant, but also because it's important to protect your face from the sun. Yes. So there are two <laughs> reasons why I wear hats. But obviously the fashionable aspect is where I look to Diana to help me uh, on that on that area. And Diana, I'm gonna have you walk us through these, but I know you're all saying, show us the pictures, right? <laughs> so let's what go to wait for? <laughs> let's go to the first one. And um, what I'd like you to do, Lena, is describe, you know, where you were, what you know, what you were doing. So oh look at this. It amazing. So is that Katie Couric? That is Katie oh, Couric. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, Katie and I were in Brazil for. Um, I have a long history of uh, philanthropy in partnership with the British royal family, and so this particular event was in Brazil, and Prince Harry played polo with um, Nacho Figueres, and uh, it benefited Santa Bali, which is Prince Harry's personal charity, which helps children in Africa. And I'm the uh, USA touchpoint for Santa Bali. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So, all right, Diana, tell me, the, the hat is just a beauty. Tell us about it. Well, she brought me the dress, and she had had, had it shortened, and she gave me these little pieces of fabric, and she <laughs> said, can you make something out of that? So it is a... And you said, of course I can. <laughs> <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> so I put it all together. I mean, it's parasitical. I, I dyed the top part yellow, and the underneath is white. And then I took all the little scraps of fabric that she had and made the rose and the headband that went around the, the outside of it. So it just fit with the dress perfectly. I absolutely love it. It was brilliant because it brought, you know, brought the hat in as part of the outfit versus just the dress. And then the hat was something you think of afterwards. We sure. really tried to integrate the two. And uh, so that people really notice. They, you know, they look at the eyelet dress and then they notice the flower. Wow, that's made out of the same parts of the dress. That's so the that's best. You know, sort of part of Diana's brilliant creativeness <laughs> is that she can do that sort of thing with just little tiny bits of fabric. And, and I'm sorry, we got to show that again because Katie, uh, Katie must have been very jealous. <laughs> just, her hat was, was not custom made. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> sorry, I Katie. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, it, all right, so let me ask you this. Where does your creativity come from? It, it comes from looking at everything beautiful around, anything that inspires you. I'm constantly looking um, at art and going mm -hmm. to museums and costumes and old movies and going for a walk on the beach and looking at sunsets, all that inspires me. <laughs> mm. Oh, all right. Now we're looking at a gorgeous hat. Wow, that um, that is just amazing. Describe this one, Lena. This hat is really outstanding. You can see the size of wow. it, obviously. The uh, the top part of the hat is, uh, is molded uh, on the basis of uh, Queen Elizabeth, Her, Her Majesty, also wears hats of this, of this sure. shape. And so I'm a real big fan of her hats. And so Diana ordered this this mold especially for me from England. Uh, and so it's the basis for a lot of my hats. And um, I was wearing uh, lavender jewelry. So she made the lavender flower to match. And this is uh, a polo match in Santa Barbara. Jada was the chef for this, for this luncheon. And this was uh, Prince William and... Uh, the Duchess of Cambridge, otherwise known as Kate Middleton. It was their first U.S. joint visit, and the polo match benefited their royal foundation of Prince William and Prince Harry. And so pictured here, the chef, she um, made, I'm sure, a lovely menu. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the hat, tell us well, a little bit more. let me tell you, um, Lena changed her mind at the last minute what dress she was going to wear, so I made that hat in two days. Oh, my! <laughs> she had to ship it to me, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing I love about working with Diana. She, you know, she is really, you know, first class, and she really <laughs> supports her clients. And so, when you have two dresses, and you're trying to decide which dress to wear, and I decided at the last minute, I already I had already been traveling, and so she had to rush it and ship it to me, and she just did it with ease, and you know, 
no no sweat yeah. whatsoever. Now, when you're when you're looking at a hat like that, I can tell it it's light. But you know how sometimes I, I don't know if you've ever felt this way, but sometimes hats can can be heavy or something like that. So you work with materials. Tell us about that. The materials that obviously make it very delicate and well, dainty. Well, this, this was made from cinnamon, and then the paracetamol was the lavender part that I that I dyed mm -hmm. to go with it. So I like mixing materials so they're not all the same. Mm, it's just elegant. <laughs> Tell us about this one, Lena. Who are we seeing here now? This is the same event. This is my friend. She's a supermodel, Molly Sims. Some, yes. some of your um, friends may know her, but uh, she was also there at the event. But I just remember this hat because it was so special that Diana, <laughs> you know, at the last minute, changed it for me. It was supposed to be a completely different color, and uh, it was very special. I got a lot of compliments on it, and people asked, you know, where did you get your hat? It matches so perfectly with your jewelry. So uh, it was really a, a memorable hat. I mean, most of them are really special, but this one in particular, because of the last minute changes we had to make. How many hats do you have? <laughs> I have a whole closet full of hats, and I store them in, in the beautiful boxes that, that Diana provides because it protects them from, uh, you know, being misshapen yes. and protects them from dust. And because they're very special and costly, uh, it's important to store them properly. Absolutely. All right, so now we're looking at a group here, and oh, gorgeous ladies. All of those, Diana, are your hat designs. <laughs> yes. I was doing a segment for Channel 8, and they asked me, uh, they were going to go to Santa Barbara for the polo match, and they asked me if I had any customer that I was making a hat for. And when I told them that I was making one for Lena, they asked if she could come on and talk about, um, you know, making the hat and going to Santa Barbara. So it was really cool to have all the other models in the background. It made a great picture, didn't it? Yeah, it, it absolutely a, does. G give us a flavor of the hats. Like, tell us a little bit about them. I think that that, uh, that segment was really fun, and it was very special <laughs> because there was a lot of buzz around the fact that William and Kate were mm -hmm. coming here for their first joint vis visit. It was a huge deal. So um, we were, you know, really honored that the the, the network wanted to to um, to highlight the hats, and so. I think Diana can talk about this hat. It's super cool. I really liked the color of it, and it was really a fun hat. And you can see sort of the flat top, which is a uh, design aspect that I really like personally. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little more about them. <laughs> you have a variety there. Well, yeah, Ch Channel 8 was going to the actual event also, and so they were very excited to come and see uh, about all my hats. Um, I have uh, some cinnamon, paracetamol. The one that I have on is a, a rayon corded um, hat that I make. And then to the, to the left, that's another cinema. And I think the one in the middle is a paracetamol. Mm. Do you have a favorite style? Or is that really hard to say? That's really hard to say because each time that you put a hat on, it changes your personality, gives you lots of um, pizzazz. And um, so depending on how you're feeling, you might want to wear kind of different hats. Do you wear hats all the time? I do. <laughs> I've never seen her without a hat, actually. <laughs> so if I don't have a hat on, then people don't recognize me. Right, right, <laughs> right. All right, and this one, oh, this is a beauty that we're going to right now. Um, just love this. Tell us about these hats, Lena. This, uh, actually, both of these hats are designed by Diana. This is my girlfriend, Carol, and this is us in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. This is actually another polo match. There's polo running uh, theme yeah. running here. Um, and it's great because a lot of people don't necessarily think about wearing hats for the polo matches. They think about wearing hats mm. for races, horse races, but definitely the ladies who yes. go to polo wear hats also. So just remember that. They you, do, right? right. Uh, so this is in Greenwich, Connecticut, and it was another event for Prince Harry, who, who's a friend, and I, I know there's this theme running through, but uh, and Nacho <laughs> Figueres was playing as well. And... Um, a number of my girlfriends wore hats that Diana designed. Uh, you know, most of us did. I brought like nine friends with me, and a number of them wore hats that Diana designed. And one of the great things about, I think, just, you know, obviously going to the races mm -hmm. and I've worn your hats, and but picking something off of a rack is so entirely different from having it actually designed to fit your face and the way it, it it's, it's molded to make sure that you have that that right fit. Right. That's why it's exciting for people to learn how to make hats. They can make one that'll fit their face mm -hmm. and their personality. Yes. I mean, she has, obviously, she measures you. It's all custom. Yes. But I, I have actually learned how to make hats, too. <laughs> I had a fascinator party at my house, and I invited, I think, about 20 girlfriends. And so, so part of this series, obviously, is for people like me who don't know how to 
really, I'm not a crafty person <laughs> All right. making you think. So. so now I want to know, you, you know, you're like me, not a crafty person. You know, I mean, I was a Girl Scout leader and it was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I, mean, I would just throw the crafts out there and say, go at it, girls. <laughs> it was pretty tough. But tell me about your experience. How, how was it when she came out and you had the party and you were you able to put something together? Yes, it was really fun because uh, I had invited 20 girlfriends. It was so we have cocktails and appetizers and it was called a fascinator party. And so we had our special guest, you know, our, our, our beautiful friend Diana. She came and taught us how to make fascinators. So during the course of drinks and dinner, um, <laughs> you know, she brought all the materials. We laid it out on a big table. We all sort of chose what we wanted to do. And we all left the party with a beautiful fascinator. And it's the first hat I've ever made. And my girlfriends had a great time. So it's this, this sort of concept of having a party and making a hat at the same time. So that's another thing she does to teach people. Maybe maybe Diana will grab a, a photo of that and stick it on her website, right? The first hat you made. Really fun. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, well, your, your photos have been just absolutely lovely. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Lena, for sharing and for the great work you're doing in philanthropy. Thank you very much. It's my life's work and I'm just, you know, and also people who may not know, I mean, aside from being a brilliant creative artist, Diane has given a lot back to, to the community as well. I mean, aside from being very giving, mm -hmm. she's also sort of passing on the legacy of the art of millinery to the students. So. Uh, you know, there's different levels of, of what she's doing. That's a really, <laughs> really great point because that's what this series is all about. You right. know, helping people um, empower themselves with the ability to create and literally I do it and make their own. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. If exactly. I can do it, trust me, you can do it because I'm completely not crafty. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, thank you so much. Thank Diana. you for having me. And oh, I love you. Diana. So all the best with the video series. I plan to, I plan to buy it and maybe make some other types of of hats. All right, <laughs> well, send, send those photos our way. We'll get them up on this side. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank you for being here. <laughs> Uh, we now move on to one of my favorite parts of the show, and I'm sure it's going to be your favorite part, too. Right now, we're going to pull one name from the list of people who registered to watch this event. Now, by registering, you are eligible to win Diana's entire video series. That's right, all four of your instructional videos. You heard how easy it is, literally. So right now, they're going to tell us who the winner is. Congratulations, you have won Diana's entire millinery instructional video series. Now, we can't wait to see what hat designs you dream up. We look forward to hearing from you, so please send us your pictures, email them to us. And be sure to stay tuned for more chances to win. We will be doing a drawing once every hour. It's so exciting. I'm I'm glad you're doing that. That's fun. <laughs> it's very exciting. Well, we are getting close to our second break, and we want to encourage you to jump right in and give Diana's newest video series a try. Today only, we are offering an early bird special to those people who have registered for today's event. The complete series includes our first four hat instructional videos, plus the stitching series videos, absolutely free. Now, this is a great offer for anyone thinking of getting into the designing of hats for the first time. It makes such a great gift, too. So if you have a friend for the holidays, for a birthday gift, be sure to grab them one, too. These videos are for everyone. You heard it from a student to an experienced hat designer. <laughs> I think we will have a few questions from chat. Should we answer them now? Let's take a look, but first, <laughs> we want to make sure that uh, you understand that you can purchase the videos right now by clicking on the link. Now, I've wanted to learn hat making for almost 10 years, but... Uh, well, you came to the right uh, person. Yeah, right? <laughs> from the time you first put it on, I think at one of your hat parades. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the designing of your, your first hat. My first hat that I ever made, ever. I'd love to hear the story. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many. Yes. I, I look at them as my children. I have so many of them. I just love them all. So I don't even really have a favorite. I just enjoy making every one of them and being creative and putting beautiful things out in the world. So let's, um, let's take one of the chat questions. Okay. Um, and our guest wants to know, if they've wanted to make a hat for a long time, how do they begin the process? They begin the process by buying one of my videos, or all of my videos, and looking at it first before they start. It'll tell you what materials you need to buy, and then you'll be able to follow it. It'll be a guide for you, step by step, 
and stitch by stitch, you will have a hat at the end. Remember, if you purchase today, we're offering a 10% discount on each of her individual millinery videos. And if that's not enough, she's also throwing in a 20% one time only. Did you know that? <laughs> One time only discount on the entire instructional video series. Let me tell you, that's normally priced at $97. But today, it's being offered the entire instructional video hat making series at the low introductory price of $79. $79. So don't wait. They're not going to let her continue that for very long. You better buy today. Make sure time is short. Buy today. That's right. So you can have your hat adventure. Yes. <laughs> Diana, you're lovely. <laughs> now, I want to talk about one other thing that Diana really did insist that we create uh, in this series of videos. And that's that if for any reason that you're not satisfied or that you feel that the series was simply not right for you, no worries. She will refund your money, no questions asked. So Diana has spent her life developing and perfecting her techniques, and she wants to make sure that you're 100% satisfied with her videos. You've heard from students and clients that they're very, very happy, but she wants to make sure that you are too. So if you're ready to get started making your first hat, just click the link below the video to get the ordering process started. If you still have questions, don't worry, we'll get them answered just let us know in the chat window, and we're happy to answer those questions. We're just about to go to our second break. So if you're ready to place your order, go ahead, click the link below, follow the easy steps to completing your order, and we will be back in about 15 minutes. So be sure to stay tuned. We have lots more of exciting information and guests on the show. From San Diego, California, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua, and this is, of course, Diana <laughs> Calamero. We wish you a fantastic hat adventure today. We'll be back in just a minute.
back to your guide to hat making. I'm Phoebe Chung Chua. We are broadcasting live from San Diego, California. Thank you for joining us. This has been such an exciting day. We've been learning all about the industry of making hats, unleashing our creativity, and being able to create a one of a kind piece. And I'm joined by, of course, the lovely Diana Cavanaro and Pamela Pogue. And you are a jewelry designer with? Yes, the name of my business is Jewelry and it's a uh, one-of-a-kind high-end jewelry collection and I have done some pieces with Diana with some of her clients as well so it's been an interesting collaboration with us and we have a wonderful time collaborating <laughs> together. It's always fun to see that and I, I know you all are saying well let's see the pictures we're gonna go right to them because okay. there's some lovely <laughs> hats and um, yes. the jewelry that you've put with it is amazing. So the first one that we're gonna look at I think you said is at a film festival right here in, in San Diego. The La Jolla Fashion Film Festival which is a fantastic event every summer that's held in La Jolla and um, Diana. Tell us about this. Oh, lovely. Yes, okay. this, this was really fun. This was a couple of years ago. Um, Diana has her fabulous fascinator on, and the necklace that she's wearing is a red coral and turquoise necklace that I styled her. Um, the model in the middle was actually the host for the event that, that year. And um, Diana created this beautiful little fascinator hat out of black leather. But you know what? She told me a secret. You did it in two days. <laughs> she did. Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. She did. And she actually added a little Swarovski crystal on, um, onto the fascinator to tie into the jewelry that I made for, for this outfit, the Swarovski crystal necklace. And the designer of the dress is um, uh, Kadir Hamidi, who is um, in the bow tie there, the gentleman. Um, again, all leather, woven leather. And then I got to wear one of Diana's fabulous little fascinators, one of my favorite little top hats That's with the fun. little tool, and it was just so pretty. It was that perfect. It was the perfect hat for the event. And Diana, when um, the host was on stage, of course, it was just enough sparkle, right? Yes, for, I was at the back of the auditorium, and I could see the, the hat, the little Swarovski crystal sparkling. <laughs> and I was only one on there, and I'm like, oh, that is terrific. Terrific. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's another thing that you learn in these videos is just how much to put, not to overdo it. Of course, it's a matter of opinion, and and right. you know, it's it's subjective. But I talk but... a lot about embellishments and how important they are, and, and what you put on your hat. Yes. So it's going to be a little bit of your personality. Yeah. You yes. got you got to pull your personality into. You have to be comfortable in what you're wearing. Now, this is gorgeous. This next photo that we're going to mm -hmm. is lovely. Tell us about where you are. Um, this was in um, UTC yeah. for a fashion show, truck show that I did. Yes. For opening day at the races. Yeah, so this <laughs> is before, right before opening day yes. at the races. And so we showed up. Um, this is my friend Ellen Moxham and myself, and we both showed up in Diana Cavanero's hats. This is a beautiful, the hat that I'm wearing is a beautiful straw hat, and the edging is so interesting she calls it a pie crust yes. edging and then she used vintage lace on the hat and then made this beautiful little like rose on the side with little vintage berries oh my gosh it is so to stunning <laughs> it's just to it, die for it almost looks like a braiding or something so it, explain the the fabric of it it's a parasitical straw Mm -hmm. And you take it and you sculpt it and, 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 and make it go into that shape. Mm. And it literally does look like a pie crust. Right. It, it was stunning. I loved it. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> And I loved fun. wearing it. And I, I tied it with uh, the necklace that I have on has um, a handmade um, Thai silver rose pendant. And so it tied in beautifully with the rose in the hat. And that, that dress. Oh, it's just so Thank you. Fun. It was very, yeah, it's very summertime, yeah. very, especially with the straw hat, too. Yeah. Nothing says summer than a straw hat. Well, and that is no ordinary straw hat. No, I, it is I mean, one know, of that, my favorites. That's what's funny. You see, that's the kind of thing that makes it so different, because you, you go and you try to find a straw hat that looks like that. No. You're hard-pressed, right? Well, and the other thing that's amazing is it truly is a couture hat, because mm. it is completely lined. How many hats do you buy? Where that the are inside completely is as beautiful as the outside. <laughs> yes, inside yeah. and out. It's stunning. Oh, it just makes a difference. All right, so now we're looking at this next photo, and this is fun. <laughs> Tell me about this. This is my tie collection. I make them all out of um, old ties. Oh, I thought you meant tie, like Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, ties. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Get some tie ties. Um, <laughs> and it was just a coincidence that we all happened to be be in there that that day wearing the hats. hats. Well, I didn't have the hat on. I went and got mine and put it on, and and so we thought, well, we have to take a picture. But this is a series of hats that I did that are made out of old ties, and I make them kind of monochromatically and. They've been a real favorite with people. So, Diana, in this, are you using multiple ties in a hat, or is it it's seven, just one? It's seven ties, well, yeah, seven different one, ties, right? yes, uh-huh, yep. Seven different ties that are all put together. And it's really a fun, sassy mm. hat to wear, because yes. you can do a lot with the brim. I just wore mine the other day. You can flip the brim up or down, or you really can have an attitude with the hat. So it's kind of a nice little modern, you know, take. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I think a man or a woman could wear. I mean, if it was, you know, styled just the right way. Right. I know we've focused, you know, primarily on, on women and women's fashion. But you never know, right? Mm -hmm. You know, from the tie to the tie. Right, to the, the tie. Well, <laughs> when I teach the classes, I always try to tell people whether they're a man or a woman how, how to make a hat. So it's not just for women. It's for men and women. Oh, good. <laughs> that's that's very important to note. Now, yeah. there is that adorable um, little top hat again. <laughs> There's the little fascinator. Yeah. That was just such a fun. And Diana, what do you call that beautiful netting with the little dots on it? That was just so spectacular. <laughs> I just love Mil it. Millinery veiling with oh. Chanel dots. It's just, mm. oh, with Chanel dots. Of course, that's why I love it. Um, but again, I tied the jewelry in, as you can see, because um, I have some uh, a, a handmade American cane glass in the clear and the black, which picks up the dots in the hat. So again, it's styled to work perfectly. For both of them to go together. <laughs> I know you're asking, you, you know, you're watching it and you're saying, wherever you are, you are just having an amazing time. Oh, <laughs> I, we have so much fun. We always do on our little adventures, don't we? <laughs> but this was, a, this was a cool hat to wear this year because there, several of the movies that were premiered were steampunk movies. Yes. And the steampunk directors would come up to me and say, how did you know to wear this hat? It's like, you know, talk to her. <laughs> it's all flat pad and what, what I teach in the flat patterning class. So people, if they want to learn how to make that, that they would take that video. Yeah, mm. that was really Absolutely. fun. Just, now, how long does it take? I mean, we see you whipping up a hat in two days. How, how long does it take to get started on hat making? An average hat is around seven hours. And then it depends on how intricate it is, how, much, um, how many embellishments you put on it, if you do hand beading. Um, embroidery, all, all that adds to it. You could do up to 20 hours even more on, on a hat. Wow. Yes. Well, and you dye materials as well. Right. I dye the materials. Uh -huh. So everything takes a, a lot a of time process. when you do the custom made. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what about finding the materials once you get the, the DVDs or the videos? Well, in the DVDs, I show at the end um, different um, suppliers so people could, will be able to buy everything um, and know where to go. All right. Yes, so they'll be able to get all the equipment and, and supplies you're told how need. much you need, right? Yes, I okay. do. I do. Because I would go in there and I would be like, I need that, 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 that. <laughs> I need it all. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> yes, I tell them exactly what you'll need. And then you make the pattern when you go buy your fabric in the store, then you can take your pattern with you and lay it down and just buy as much as you need. <laughs> so I'm curious, the, the history of all of this, you've been at it for some three decades. How has it changed? Well, it's changed. It goes through um, decades where people um, are not as excited about wearing hats. So the people who were wearing hats some, some decades are just people who are getting married and people are in theater and entertainment. And then it just keeps cycling around. And right now, it seems to be a time when it's really going up and people are really excited about wearing hats. What about celebrities? We've seen a, a little bit, you know, here and there, picking it up like, you know, we've seen a lot of people who are really enjoying wearing them. Yes. But, but are celebrities getting more interested in this? Because that always helps to, you know, yes. raise the bar and get people interested in You see in a lot more, yes. more in them now. And it's both men and women, which is really exciting. Mm-hmm. I just love to see them wearing hats. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> and so your favorite process in all of this, in, in, in the past three decades, your favorite process, you know, part of being this movement it and just inspiring gives you, people. It just gives you so much energy to make beautiful things. And then when you make it and you put it on someone's head and you see the big smile on their face, that's, that's the, the reward for me. I just love it. 
Well, you two are transformers. You literally, <laughs> you take somebody, you mold them, you put them into something, and they come to life and they feel good in, in what they're wearing. That's that that is the reward. Diana is absolutely right, and to to design and style it for the person, and that's what Diana is very good. She has a very good sense of that. Pamela, thank you so much for sharing the photos and the little bits of design techniques. That's been fabulous. Thank you. I really enjoyed being here with both of you. Good luck, Diana, with your videos. Thank you so much. <laughs> exciting times. And guess what? We have some very exciting times ahead for you. So you'll want to stay tuned because we have a special guest. I promise you, you do not want to miss this. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. I'm Phoebe Chung Chua, and we are into our final hour of Your Guide to Hat Making Live. I'm here with our distinguished guest, Diana Cavaniero, and we have an amazing guest with us today, Zandra Rhodes. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Zandra has been a major fashion heavyweight for more than 40 years. She graduated from the Royal College of Art in London. And everyone from Jackie O to Freddie Mercury to Kate Moss has worn her fashions. Her creations are also in museums all around the world. Oh, isn't that exciting? It is. <laughs> and Zandra, I understand that congratulations are in order. Um, do you want to tell us about becoming a dame and going to Buckingham Palace? Oh, yes, I became a dame, Princess Anne. Was the um, was in her naval uniform and conferred my two medals on me, oh. and I was the first one in line before all the other lords and ladies. So it was very, uh, it was very nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! That's so oh. awesome. Yeah, such a fantastic time. Well, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it, and we're so excited. We want to get right into the fashion show to see all your designs, and of course, and of course, have Diana talk about the hats too. Oh, so let's stunning. get started with the fashion Zandra, show. have a look at Wonderful. this. Wonderful. Oh well, that's one of my special uh, rose shawl designs, and I see that Diana's put it with a wonderful bow hat to emphasize, to make it even more exotic. Uh, Diana, tell us a little bit about the hat. Well, it's a uh, flower made out of metallic fabric and a bow. And um, I just love working with the metallic fabric. It just really brings out the metallic colors in the dress. And um, it's, I, I just enjoy so much doing that. And let's, let's go back and look at the, the hat one more time and turn just a little bit so we can see that. Oh, turn, aha, uh -huh, beautiful. Let's see both sides of that. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, well, um, I love it. I, I love Hats. doing all the um, embellishments in millinery because there's so much embellishments that are involved in it. And so when I do the hats and I get to do the, the flowers and the roses and all the trims, it's very exciting. Mm. And Zandra, don't you just think that that just complements it so nicely? I think we're in a wonderful period where you need, you really need a hat to complement things, to really make, to top off the outfits. Mm. Well, that indeed does. I agree. You're not fully dressed unless you have a hat on. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm bearing my uh -oh. soul. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Lovely. Lovely. And let's bring out our next model. We have um, so many wonderful things. I, I love how you put just the, the finishing touches that you talk about, just those little, little tiny details makes such a difference and that's what you show of course in the videos right yes that's right i show all the finishing touches oh my goodness stunning the colors on this zandra have a look 
I know, and that the hat, the hat's just well, a little lovely flower. It's a sleeveless uh, fuchsia blouse with a huge pleated skirt that's all printed, and, an, and a sash, and then to top it off, the little flower on her head, which looks gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> and it matches your hair, Zandra. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, pink silk organza that I uh, shred and, and make the flower out of. And then, of course, it's got some um, bows underneath it. So tell us a little bit about how these are attached. Like, how are they actually worn so that they stay nice and secure? Well, in the class that I teach, I show people all the different ways that you can attach it, because there's many different ways. And it depends on what your personality is about what you would like to use. Um, you could, there's just many different ways to fasten it. So you can use elastic or, or you can put it on um, all kinds of things. Mm. That, that's just gorgeous. <laughs> it, it really I does I mean, the main it. thing is to experiment and see how you feel. There's lots of lovely little tricks that you can do, like twisting a piece of hair so that it's got something to hang on to. Yes, yes that's good. Oh, well, this is just gorgeous. And the coloring, everything, beautiful. Well, I just love the hat with the outfit. It's just so striking. Makes it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abe, Abby. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> it's it's so fun to see how things are paired together. You know, Zandra. I mean, I'm I'm not talented in that way like the two of you. <laughs> so to see it, you just go, wow, that's great. And oh, look at this, fabulous. Have a look, Zandra. Oh, that's Lilani. I can see that, and it's in um, my latest collection, and it's a, a taffeta evening jacket printed with tulips in purple and black. Wow! And it's got beautiful. it's got beads on the on the all along on the collar. It's exquisite. Well, I love. You know what I love is at first, you know, you have to really capture this when you look at it. Yes, perfect. Now we can see the detail in it. Oh, that's amazing. Simply amazing. Look at the the gorgeous. Is fabric. it iridescent taffeta? I I'm sorry. The is jacket's it? in taffeta. Uh -huh. I don't know what the flowers in. Oh, just gorgeous. Uh huh. And look at. Let's get a closer look at the hat. Tell me about the hat. It's a silk chiffon flower that I made. I put a little rhinestones on, so it has a little oomph. Mm -hmm. A little pizzazz. <laughs> yes. A little oomph to it. There it is. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> And, and so you said those are rhinestones in it? Yes, I uh -huh. put a little rhinestones so that it has a little pizzazz. Now, how do you know when, when enough is enough? Like, how, you know what I mean? Like, that's not overstated. That's just the right amount. How do you know when you're looking at it? I know you have so many years of experience, <laughs> and I'm sure that's what you teach in your course, but to know that's enough. Well, it depends on the personality of the, of the wearer, because some people would like less, and sometimes some, sometimes some people think more is more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That is true. That is so very true. It has just I mean, the right amount. It's such a personal thing. It's very exciting to, to put someone in a hat m together with the outfit, and you can see them blossom when they put the hat on. It just puts a big smile on their face. Right, Lilani? <laughs> now, Zandra, d tell me a little bit about being, you know, watching your creation come together with Diana. What's that, what's that like when you see the, the full, your work and hers together? How, describe that experience. Well, we discuss the sort of look that we want to get, and then Diana appears in my studio with this large, large box that practically needs a trolley, <laughs> and we... And then we experiment and we put the model in it and then we put the different hats on so that we can actually see what would be lovely. Or, you know, in the case of the collection, that I, a couple of collections ago that we did at the Westgate, we discussed with Diana and she just went away and got all the things ready for it. Great big bows. They were gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Or the Go Red for women, um, too. We, we discussed doing hearts and we did hats with hearts on it. And that was very exciting. Exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of like Diana will bring things in and show me. And then I look at different things and we just look together and see how the whole thing looks. And we try and imagine it either on the catwalk or will we wear it. And here they are again, lining them all up. Such 
Lovely, lovely outfits and hats. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful ladies. Well, it's and such a pleasure always working with you, Zandra. Zandra, what's your favorite part of being a designer? What's my favorite part? Yes. Um, oh, gosh. Well, first of all, putting the collection together is usually torture because it's always, <laughs> got, it's always got to look different. But then you come to doing the dress show and you have the gorgeous girls and then you start to think, how do you want the hair? You don't always want the hair to fight with the hat. You know, it, it's a whole case of that we photograph each of the girls and then we, we look and see what will look good with each one. Well, it's amazing. Just stunning. And you two have worked together for how long? Yes, we've worked together for so many years. I, I, I don't even remember well, how long. I, it's been. I don't know. Probably, <laughs> probably around 20 years. <laughs> we've known each other for quite a while. And I, and I think it's very exciting because we're in such a good period for hats. We are. I'm so excited that so many more people want to make hats now and wear hats because it does well, I, just I, accent the outfit. Well, I think it's great that you do those classes and then, you know, enabling people to be able to make hats too. I know. Well, we need more people making hats so we have more people wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> It'll help the fashion industry. So, yeah, exactly. Diana, talk a little bit about where you do see the future going and the, and the trends. I mean, you know, hats go through like everything, clothing, there's trends. The Fascinators came on the scene and, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about what you think is going to be coming forward in the years to come. Well, Kate Middleton really, um, you know, helped boost people wearing fascinators. Everybody wants to wear a fascinator now. Yes. And it used to be that they only wore big hats to the races. Now they all want to wear fascinator. About 50% <laughs> will wear a fascinator to the races. So I really see a lot more people wearing hats and wanting to do them. The younger generation loves hats, and so I'm really excited about that. Yes, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Zandra, thank you. Those are, are just stunning. Oh, it's a great pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much. We've had such a fun time. It's been delightful talking with <laughs> Zandra Rhodes. Um, just amazing. <laughs> you know, now that, if that doesn't inspire you to say, wow, really, I can, I can do something like that. I can put together, you know, a hat and I can learn it by simply picking up a DVD and, and watching. Yes, you can, right? <laughs> at, at any level. That's right. Um, on my DVD, I teach people how to do it. If you've never picked up a needle before, I'll show you step by step and stitch by stitch how to do it. It's a guideline to do the whole thing. And then when you're done, You've got a hat. <laughs> and she promises that it will be a hat adventure. So you'll have fun doing it. It won't be one of those kind of things where you're just, you know, exacerbated by it and frustrated. You'll enjoy every moment of it. I make it easy so that you'll just be so excited that you tried it. And then you'll go, oh, I have to do one every day now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we are now moving into a favorite part of the show. And this is, of course, because we get to pull out one lucky name from the list of people who registered to watch this event online. By registering, you are eligible to win Diana's entire video series. So that's right. That means all four of the instructional videos by Diana Cavaniero. So, Diana, go ahead. Right now, we're going to put up on the screen our next lucky winner. Congratulations, you have won her entire four video millinery instructional series. Now we can't wait to see what you're going to come up with and of course we we'll hope that uh, you'll have a blast doing it and share it with us. Oh, thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> we look forward to hearing from you so please do be sure and stay in touch. Make sure you send the pictures. Now, we've shared a lot of great fashion and design with you but you know what? 
I really believe that this is much more about the emotional and creative experience that the opportunity to really make your soul come to life. That's right. By making a hat, you get to uh, look inside yourself and find your creativity and make beautiful things and put them into the world and wear them and make other people smile. So it's just, it's terrific. Yeah, so it's not just about, you know, of course you get a very elegant hat, you get to design something from scratch, it's custom, it's a one of a kind, but you really get to go inside and explore some of that creativity that a lot of us say, well, I don't have that. I know my students say that all the time. I don't have any creativity. I can't do what you do. And I always say, yes, it's a learned thing. You put yourself in, in situations where you're inspired, and all of a sudden it's going to come out. You'll be so surprised. Uh, and Diana <laughs> is the one to bring that out. Now, as we've been mentioning, we are offering an early bird special to those people who have registered for today's event. So... You will absolutely love this. If you purchase today, Diana is going to offer a 10% discount on each of her individual millinery videos. And if that's not enough, you know this, right? It's a 20% <laughs> off, one-time only discount on the entire collection. Now, normally it's priced at $97, but today the entire millinery instructional video series is at the low introductory price of $79. Ooh. <laughs> you go, girl. Okay. <laughs> $79, so don't mm -hmm. wait. Make sure you pick it up today. That's an outstanding offer. We've told you it's about getting the hat designs. It's about unleashing your creativity. It's about having that one-of-a-kind hat when you walk into that extravaganza and people say, oh, where did you pick it up? Well, I, I designed it myself. That's right. <laughs> That's so exciting to be able to say that. <laughs> yes, it is. So make sure, pick it up right now. Now, I do want to mention one thing because Diana really insisted that we put this in this video series and that if you, for any reason, are not satisfied or you feel that the series was just not right for you, she is going to refund the money, no questions asked. Diana has spent her life developing and perfecting millinery techniques Techniques, and she wants to be sure that you're 100% satisfied with her video series. This That's has been right. so fun working with her, a longtime friend. Um, <laughs> so I know how much this means to her. Now, if you're ready to get started making your first hat, just click the link below the video to get the ordering process started. If you still have a few questions, you can feel free to ask them at any time. Diane is always available. We're happy to answer those questions. We're just about to wrap up the event, so if you're ready to place your order, go ahead, click the link below, and then follow the easy steps to completing your order. We don't want you to miss this opportunity. Remember, $79 today. Take advantage of the video series and its early release. So that about wraps it up for this afternoon. We thank you for joining us for this insightful event. It's been such fun, your guide to hat making <laughs> live. We hope that you've enjoyed it. Every, Zandra Rhodes and, and all the beautiful models and the guests and the, the customers. It was terrific. And you, you're, you're darling. Thank you so much for being here. You are fabulous. Oh, my pleasure. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua. We are broadcasting from San Diego, California. I do thank you for joining us. And now, make it a fantastic hat adventure. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>